And that's where stability comes into the conversation as well, right? What, what exactly? I, I feel like that term gets thrown around, and people, a lot of people, don't even know what that they're what it actually means. Truly, what is meant by a strain or a cultivar being stable? Well, there's a couple of ways to look at it. So there's like sexually stable. So is it gonna throw bananas, throw you know male flowers, and pollinate your uh, the rest of your plants? So is it sexually stable? And uh, also another way to look at it is like phenotypic expression how stable is that you know some people at least back in the day when stuff was created like people wanted it to kind of just come out and be like the same as is whatever the picture was or whatever you know now there's more variation with these poly hybrids and stuff and a lot of people want to kind of hunt their own and kind of get that variation okay so it's not so much stability in regards to you no know, it's different types of herms right there's the herms with the nanners due to too much stress, and then there's herms where it's actually within the genetics to where you grow it out, it starts to flower, and you see pollen sacs form at the nodes, right? As far as being able to genetically, say, quote, breed those characteristics out of the plant, is that actually a possibility at all? Or is herms always going to be within the genetics no matter what is done? No, I mean, well, there's always going to be, you know, life's going to find a way. You know, that's how they preserve themselves. But it goes back to like selecting plants and, you know, working with plants that aren't doing that. So if it's fully herming out, I'm not, I'm not working with that plant. But if there's uh, a lot of other plants aren't, you know, and I'm running like a, a nice little number of them, you can see, well, okay, that was like the problem plant that might just be, you know, the one off, you know, random one. So you just got to keep kind of running plants and, uh, you know, find the ones that don't, you can breed that out. You know, you got to just keep selecting it, but it's not going to be ever completely gone. Cause this is, this is how they preserve themselves. You know, this is built into the plant, you know, you can select and select and try to breed away from it, but no matter what, like it's going to be in there, you know, cause that's its survival mechanism to, uh, you know, reproduce if there's no, you know, male pollen around or whatever female reverse plants around that are pollinating it. So like, it's always something to watch out for. But, uh, yeah, you can definitely breed it out. It, it just goes back to selecting plants, selecting the strong, healthy, vigorous plants that aren't showing those uh, hermaphrodite traits, you know, coming out. But uh, it's always a risk, no matter what. So it, whether it's like a $500 pack of the hottest breeder in the game who's running, you know, hundreds of plants and, and seeing what's going on, still can happen. You know, it still can happen. You got to watch. So This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mr. Grow at 15 to save on any of their products.